in the first men's recurve semi-final at the opening stage of the 2021 Hyundai Archery World Cup in Guatemala City. The second seed, Atanu Das of India, was facing Angel Alvarado of Mexico, and he wasted little time in getting the match wrapped up. A 10, and he'll take this one in four sets. Oh, what a brilliant finish from Atanu Adas. The second men's semi had to be settled in a shoot-off. The Netherlands' Steve Weyer, the current world number four, faced Daniel Castro of Spain, who is making his debut in the competition. Quite a wide nine. So any kind of ten will do it, but actually a big portion of the nine ring is open to Steve Weyer. What can he do? Pulled that one into the eight. Oh my goodness me. I don't think Castro thought he was in with a chance at all. The Dutchman struggled to get into his groove in the bronze medal match as well. And the podium spot was claimed by the Mexican Angel Alvarado. The 10 is a definite here for a win. A nine actually was enough. That meant that the men's recurve final was between Spain's Daniel Castro and Atanu Das of India. Oh, what a start from the Indian. X10, that's exactly where you want to be on that first arrow. Oh, what a reply. Well, I'll be happy if the standard stays up here. Just a little bit low on that second arrow. Both follow each other out of the 10 and into the 9. Slightly different directions. That's a, that's yeah. Back in the 10 for Das for a 29. Pressure applied to Castro here. Needs a 10 to share the points. And he's put that into the nine as well. So a 28 for Daniel Castro. And the first two set points, just like that, go to Atanu Das. A 10 9 10 from Atanu Das. A bit of uh, bow steering there from him, or just a reaction after I think, the shot? I think it was more just to have a little look. He wasn't quite sure it won, where it went, and he really wanted to see immediately what had happened. Set number two. Castro shooting first. Yeah. He's got a naturally long hold. It doesn't look like he's holding it for a long time, but whereas if you put that in another archer's hands, it would look like a long hold. Yeah, different archers have yeah. a different length of you know, that on? hold, what we would call timing, from the time that you hit your face with the string to the time that you execute. But what we're really looking for is the consistency. You want the same every shot. Good. Yeah. It's working for Daniel Castro in this second set. Two tens after Atanu Das had dropped an eight for his first arrow. So already this one is looking Lord. like it's got away hey. from Das, even with that ten. Nine from Castro puts this one out of reach and puts the match back on level terms. Oh, he shoots an eight, so all of a sudden the opportunity switched over to the other side of the shooting line, a 10 from Das, and he maintains the two-point lead but gets closer to the target score. Oh, he's drifted over into the eight, so a 26 from Das. Nikki, the roller coaster, it's back. Yeah, that release on the last shot there just didn't look nice at all. Um, so yeah, I think it really just came from a poor release, just took it down into the eight. Yes, sir. Immediately turning to try and look to see where that arrow went. Muy bien. Y ahora enfócate donde están mirando con la intensidad. Very old. Yeah. Oh, what a shot, though. The opportunity was there for him, and he took it. 
pressure now on the Tarnu Das. Hard. Dropping another point. It's just. Yeah. We really needed to put the pressure on here and uh, three points down. Da igual si el visor se mueve. Sigue mirando y mete la intensidad al disparo, eh? Da igual si te mueve. Solo sigue. Good shot. Very close. It is a nine. Back in the tens for a 27. So an eight to share the points, a nine to take the lead. Puts it in the ten. Brilliant stuff from Daniel Castro and a fist pump there as well. A 29 after 228 sees the Spaniard going 4-2 up in set points. Tanu Das gets uh, set number four underway with a nine. Loading anchor transfer. Y ahora mira y la intensidad. Solo sigue dirigiendo, eh? Just talking him through the shot. Seis, cinco. He looked a little bit unsteady, didn't he? Threw it and just wide into the eight. What were you? Moving. Got corrected over to the right. So one would think the last one from Das will be right in the middle and hit the 10. Oh, no, this is it. This is what we've seen throughout this competition. Get right the way up to the finishing line and then have a big stutter. There you go. In the middle for the 10 and a 28 and uh, the points again go to a Tanu Das and again we're going to be level after four sets of regulation archery. Can he get this one back in the middle? That's slightly better but his lowest score so far a 24. Mr. Consistent in the gold medal match has suddenly uh, gone on a downward trajectory. Daniel's second arrow you just see the release it's just, I think it was just a little bit soft. It was definitely different. It wasn't as smooth as the ones before. Um, it was just threw it out. And Atanu Das has just brought himself back level with Daniel Castro. And puts it into the 10. That's marked as a nine or called a nine in venue. Looked very close to potentially being an eight. It did, yeah. Looked near the line, but if it does touch the line, it'll get the highest score. Fuck. Called that one into the ten as well. What a return to form at the right time for Atanu Das in this gold medal match. Yeah. He really needed that. He had to put the pressure on Atanu for this last shot. He certainly did, and Atanu Das can still do this. A 10 will take him to the gold medal. Oh, what a way to finish! A perfect 30 from Atanu Das of India, and Daniel Castro can't match this despite being more consistent throughout. A brilliant finish from Daniel Castro for a 29. But what a return to form for Atanu Das, shooting 9, 9, 10 in the fourth set and then finishing with a perfect 30. It feels amazing, you know. It's, it's like dreams are coming true. Uh, I was working so long, you know, so for so many years. And now this is paying off. So this is my first title. So it's, I'm very happy, actually. Tanu Das at the top stage winner will go to the season finale. Behind the Archer World Cup finals, Daniel Castro, Angel Alvarado and Steve Vaya picking up valuable ranking points.